Parish was born on March 5, 1900, in Clinton County, Ohio, the son of John and Martha Hastings Marsh. Irene Morrow Marsh was born on September 23, 1898, in Clinton County, also, the daughter of William and Flora Mills Morrow. They had five children. John William and Joanna Marsh Evans were twins. Wanda Marsh McMillan was the oldest. Norma Marsh Soul and Eldon Marsh. Irene was a bus driver, unheard of in the 1920s. She and Edgar bought a bus, and Irene was one of the five drivers for the Savannah School. Her bus had wooden sides, looked like kitchen doors. And inside the bus, along both sides, were wooden benches and one narrow bench down the middle. She opened the door by turning a lever and used another lever for the rear door. There was also a wooden stop sign on the side, controlled by another lever, which when stopped for children to board the bus. Her firstborn, Wanda Marsh McMillan, rode on the bus as a two-year-old. Irene was always concerned about driving safety. Fair weather was never a concern, but snow, ice, and sleet were something else. One snowy day on Borden Road, she slid off the road while making a turn. She sent two older boys to the nearest farmhouse for help. To keep the passengers warm, all the children stomped their feet and clapped their hands to avoid frostbite. The farmers arrived, soon arrived and pulled them up. All the children got home safely. Edgar also drove a bus. They both retired in 1958. So that's five years before I could reach us, so I know. Irene died on December 22, 1973, at the age of 75. Edgar died on September 9, 1977, at the age of 77. Eldon Marsh wrote the following paragraph about his parents and sent it to his siblings in December 1977, three months after their father passed away. They may not have been without fault, but their motives and their affection for us were because of true love. They, they deprived themselves. They sacrificed. Their reward was in seeing us function as responsible individuals in knowing that we usually adhered to behavioral standards that they tried to impart. Honesty, integrity, loyalty, industriousness, and accepting our responsibilities. They were happy with our accomplishments and were there to help us in our time of need. I'm not a lifelong resident of Salina. I have found over the last four or five years of attending cemetery walks that that paragraph could be said about just everyone in this town. I have a comment about the, what you said about getting stuck uh, sliding off the road. Jack and Paul was my driver for 12 years in Jack, uh, we had to travel the road that had S curves in it. In the time, it was common to slide off and get a dirt wheel in the ditch. And Jack would always just say, okay, all you big boys get out and push. And that's what we did. Yeah. I wasn't a big boy. Talking about the old-fashioned bus and they described it so well here, I remember those and I thought I was going to get to ride them, but I never did because it was, my, my sister was eight years older than I, so when, when they would come home in the evening, um, he would drop her off or else she would ride still and I'd be meeting him out at the end of my, my walk. And they let me ride, the bus driver let me ride to the end of the route, which was just down the next road. And because he had to come back past the house anyhow. So I rode on that bus over and over when the weather was nice, and I would meet him down there. And I picked out my seat, and I, it was in the center. I thought those center seats were so neat. And the next year, I believe it was Walter Stackhouse got a bus, and I, I don't know whether that's when the school started buying them or whether he, it was his. But anyhow, had a new bus driver and a brand new bus, and I was disappointed. <laughs> Another thing about those old buses, they made wonderful playhouses because in the summer my folks would go to Canada fishing and I would always go out to Forming Road and stay with my aunt and uncle. And they lived just down the road from the marshes. And we were distant cousins anyhow. 
And so we played together all the time. But they had one of their old buses out in the back, and it was their play place, you know, that was their to play with. And they had they still had seats in it and everything. We play like that it was a house. It was a wonderful place to play. <laughs> Um, I rode Jack on Paul's bus also, and Charlie, did you have a reserved seat on Jack? Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 right seat. Yeah, right behind Jack